Hello and welcome back. In video 43, we have derived integral form of continuity equation using the Reynolds transport equation. In this video, we will derive a mathematical equation for the same principle, using a different approach. In previous videos, we derived integral equations of conservation of mass, momentum and energy, of a fluid, flowing steadily through a control volume. Such analysis will be useful for the calculation of total mass flow rate, total thrust, and total power output from simple, steady flow thermal fluid systems. Note that, the integral approach study global effects of system flow. However, more complex fluid dynamic analysis requires calculation of flow properties, at local points inside the flow. For example, if we are interested in calculating the velocity vector of a fluid particle at a given location within the system, or calculating the value of local density, a differential approach may be required. In this case, a differential control volume is considered around the point of interest, and motion of a differential fluid elemental system through this control volume, is analyzed. If the mass of differential fluid system is of interest, that would lead to differential form of continuity equation. Similarly, consideration of momentum will lead to differential form of linear momentum equation, and total energy, lead to differential form of energy equation. Consider integral form of continuity equation we have derived in video 43. Let it be equation A. By converting surface integral to a volume integral and using divergence theorem along with some mathematical manipulations, we get equation C, which is called the differential form of continuity. In this equation vector V represents velocity field of the flow, which has three scalar components, U, V, and W. Note that, U, V, W are functions of space variables x, y, z and time t. In a Cartesian coordinate system, the del operator can be expressed as a vector function. Finally, this equation can be expanded and simplified for a steady incompressible flow, as equation d. For two-dimensional, steady incompressible flows, this equation can be further simplified. Note that this is a two-dimensional partial differential equation with two unknown functional variables, u and v. Solutions of this partial differential equation, using appropriate boundary conditions will result in velocity field of a given two-dimensional flow system. Thank you for listening.